introduction hello everybody my name is krish i want to buy some chocolates for this i need to give money to the shopkeeper without money he will not give us anything do you know what money is okay i will tell you more about money objectives at the end of this lesson you'll be able to identify and differentiate between notes and coins make different combination of 20 and 50 rupees note know about saving add and subtract money understand correct combinations of notes and coins we need money in every sphere of life we require money to buy house television computer clothes grocery stationery and many more things when we go to market sometimes shopkeeper tells the amount in rupees and paise both let me show the correct way to write the price told by a shopkeeper one rupee is written as rupee one five rupees is written as rupees five seven rupees and fifty paise is written as rupees seven point five zero look at this barbie doll price is written on its label we read the price as 95 rupees and 50 paise let's learn about paise coins this is 20 paise coin this is 50 paise coin let us learn about rupee coin this is a 1 rupee coin this is a 2 rupees coin this is a 5 rupees coin this is a 10 rupees coin let's learn about rupees note this is an 1 rupee note this is a 2 rupees note this is a 5 rupees note this is a 10 rupees note this is a 20 rupees note this is a 50 rupees note this is a 100 rupees note this is a 500 rupees note and this is a 1000 rupees note this is a 20 rupee note a 20 rupees note is equal to the sum of four five rupees note a 20 rupees note is equal to the sum of two 10 rupee notes a 20 rupees note is also equal to the sum of one 10 rupee note and two 5 rupees notes. Similarly, a 50 rupees note is equal to the sum of five 10 rupees note. 50 rupees note is equal to the sum of one 20 rupees note and three 10 rupees notes. 50 rupees note is equal to the sum of two 20 rupees note and one 10 rupees note. Remy's father gave her rupees 10. She spent rupees 2 for buying pencils and the rest she dropped in her piggy bank. The money kept in our piggy bank is called saving. Now let us learn about addition involving money. If I have three 5 rupees coin, then can you tell me the total rupees I had? Add 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is equal to 15 rupees. Now I have 3 50 paise coins and a 2 rupee coin, which is equal to 3 rupee 50 paise. Let us learn how to add 25 rupees 50 paise and 20 rupees 25 paise. Step 1. Add the numbers in passe column. 50 plus 25 is equal to 75 passe. Write 75 under the passe column. Step 2. Add the numbers in rupees column. 25 plus 20 
is equal to rupees 45. Write 45 under the rupees column. Let us solve another example. What is the sum of 10 rupees 50 paise and 15 rupees 50 paise? Step 1. Write the numbers in correct column. Step 2. Add the numbers in passe column. 50 plus 50 equals 100 passe. But we know that 100 passe is equal to 1 rupee. So we write two zeros below the passe column and take 1 as carry. Step 2. Add the numbers in rupees column. 1 plus 10 plus 15 equals rupees 26. Write 26 under the rupees column. Now let us learn subtraction of money. Subtract 10 rupee 50 passe from 40 rupees and 75 passe. Step 1. Subtract the numbers in the passe column. 75 minus 25 is equal to 50 passe. Write 50 under passe column. Step 2. Subtract the numbers in the rupees column. 40 minus 10 equals 30. Write 30 under rupees column. Let us learn about some right combinations of notes and coins. One 5 rupee note is equal to the sum of 5 1 rupee coins. One 5 rupee note is also equal to the sum of 1 2 rupee note and the sum of 3 1 rupee coins. Similarly, one 5 rupee note is equal to the sum of 2 rupees note and a 1 rupee coin. All these are the right combinations. Similarly, we can have different right combinations for 10, 20, 50, 100, 500 and 1000 notes.